Rack and Fin Radio with Tom P. WPG Talk Radio 95.5. 13 days and counting and 21 days and counting. Mm-mm-mm, man. Hunting seasons are approaching. Hey, you're inside Rack and Fin Radio with me, Tom P. We're going to have August 19th and 20th. Hey, still some great fishing going on these upcoming months. Starting to get the vibe now. Listen, we have 13 days, September 1st, opening of the special Canada Goose. And rail bird seasons. Next week, we have uh, Ted Nichols coming on, wildlife biologist, waterfowl specialist for the state. We're going to be talking some Canada's and some mud hens. And also, hey, 21 days, the early bow season opener and 28 DMZs. And don't forget those uh, DMZs that have the antler point restrictions. And that is going to be happening 21 days from now. So I hope you are shooting great fundraising event coming up. You want to help protect... Your rights to hunt, fish, and trap in New Jersey. Saturday, October 14th, the annual Sporting Clays fundraiser for the New Jersey Outdoor Alliance there at the great Red Wing Sporting Clays there, uh, 317 Suey's Landing Road in Port Republic. Shout out to Roger, Danny Garberson, and the whole crew out there. It's going to be a great event. We were there. I set records for eating pulled pork, hot dogs, whatever. We, I don't shoot much. I never hit anything, but it's a super event and hope to see there. A lot of stuff happening. Now, we have some tournaments uh, still on the docket. And you have to, listen, don't turn a blind eye to the freshwater fishing right now. Bass is going crazy. You have great pickerel fishing, cat fishing. The spawn's over, man. They are tuned. But, hey, thinking man's fish make you pull your hair out if you have any left. Carp. Carp fishing. Tom P. Carp fishing. Yeah, did it, uh... Did it a little while ago. Just uh, saw some guys doing it. Just got back in the swing. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Our next guest is going to be talking about that. Yeah, doing some carping in the parallel universe of Rack and Finn Radio. Also, a super event coming up. Actually, two uh, next weekend. And one is the inaugural, that uh, doormat rodeo, whatever the hell they're calling it, out of Cape May. Jerry Vessels from the Wildwood Fishing and Boating Expo, one of the main event sponsors and organizers. Man, it's all happening. Grab that cup. Grab that rebel. We are loaded today. Rack and Fin Radio, be right back. WPG Talk Radio 95.5 FM and 1450 AM, South Jersey's talk station. When you're traveling down the highway of life, a leaky heart valve can slow your roll faster than summer shore traffic. At Atlanticare, our structural heart disease program has what it takes to get your life moving again. Combining expert teams that include cardiologists, imaging specialists, and experienced surgeons with innovations like MitraClip, a minimally invasive procedure that uses a device no larger than a dime, typically resulting in shorter hospital stays, quicker recovery times, and a far better chance to return your quality of life to its usual healthy pace. And you can find it all right here at Atlanticare. With so much heart experience so close to home, why not take the local route? The Structural Heart Disease Program at Atlanticare. Learn about all we offer at atlanticare.org slash mitraclip. I'm William Shatner. I've been around a long time, but I'm truly humbled when I see the real battles our brave, paralyzed veterans have faced defending our freedom and when they come home. I had just come home from serving over in Germany. Next thing I know, it was three weeks later. I was paralyzed. While parachuting with my platoon, my parachute didn't open. I broke my neck. It left me paralyzed for the rest of my life. I was on a routine patrol, and uh, we were in the desert of Kuwait, and the vehicle flipped and landed on top of me, which uh, left me paralyzed from the waist down. Okay, folks, this, this, this is heroism. That's why I'm proud to support Paralyzed Veterans of America, because they've kept their promise to never leave a fallen soldier behind. A roof over the heads, accessible homes, cars, jobs, benefits. PVA has brought me back to life. Show them their sacrifice hasn't been in vain. Go to pva.org to learn how you can make a difference. Rack and Fin Radio with Tom P. WPG Talk Radio 95.5. Yeah, back inside Rack and Fin Radio with me, Tom P. Weekend of August 19th and 20th. All hell's breaking loose on the saltwater, freshwater front, as I mentioned a little earlier in the first segment. And we're going to have a fishing report out of Cape May, hopefully later, with Captain Bob Cope. 
Full Ahead Sport Fishing, the NRK is on fire. It is on fire. And hey, we have a big fluke tournament coming up next week. And up to me, it's uh, with three weeks left in the season after that. Maybe we're closing out the summer flounder season with a bang up inaugural tournament there out of Cape May. But hey, man, just. Um, just took a break. Just took a break. You know, I love my bluegills with the poppers and the whole bit. What's bass fishing out there? Just walking a, a local pond in my travels. Very familiar with it. Catching some small, large mouth, you know, a little, uh, not a Ned rig. What was it? Um, uh, wacky rig. Little little three-inch, four-inch sank or whatever. Came upon two guys very intent. And I'm looking at this. These guys are like the pros. And what they were doing, they had these, I guess they call them poles. They had these 12, 14, 16-foot rods out there with these you know rod holders with little electronic doodads on them and they had their their baskets out no bivvies no little tent there's there's, there's a county pond no overnighting there these guys were intense intense carp anglers there's a tom p you want to talk about carp let me tell you something they are the thinking man and woman's fish. I don't care. You can catch marlin. You can catch brown trout on number 24 dry flies in low water. Blah, blah, blah. Carp can make these fish look like chumps. They will. They can make you crazy. Brought me back to my... I, I, actually, I pursued carp pretty intensely through um, into my 40s, I guess. Then, you know, other things happen. I don't have time for it. Other, other species, you know, get your attention. Brought me close to home. Next day... Can of green giant, little sugar in there, little salt in there. Did some chumming in the morning. Went back that afternoon, and I had not big, not big fish, three, four pounds, five pounds, but on ultralight tackle, absolute blast. Then happened to run into a gentleman, a tournament bass angler, in his free time. He's also on a Daiwa Pro staff. He's also on the Pro, uh, the Spro Pro staff. Gamagatsu Yeti Subaru of America and Z Man. Shout out to Joy Prokaska. And we were just talking bass, and all of a sudden, the conversation with another gentleman turned to carp. My my ears perked up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And there you have it. Joining us on right now is Taylor Stewart, pro bass angler of no ill repute, sponsored all over the place, but has an affinity for the biggest member of the minnow family, the common carp, also that Russian carp. <laughs> Taylor, how you doing, man? I'm doing well, Tom. I appreciate you having me on this morning. Uh, a little long on intro, but man, it really brought me uh, back to simpler times and intense times, carp fishing, because it is a science. And uh, when I heard you talking to the other gentleman, you mentioned carp, man, my ears perked up. Are they a blast and are they a challenge or what? You know, it's funny because they are the thinking man's fish, but the other, the benefit of carp are there, you know, at least for us down here in South Jersey, they're in about every waterway you can find. And, uh, you know, you don't, you don't get a, an opportunity to catch a, a fish that fights like that too much in fresh water. So they're, uh, they're about as fun as you can get. Uh, Taylor, two of my, my really favorite venues in, uh, uh just God rest his soul, uh, Lou Rodia. Former famous outdoor writer out of Cape May, he lived at Six North Main Street in Cape May Courthouse. Turned me on to the carp fishing in Dividing Creek, or as they say down here, Dividing Creek. Those tidal water carp, and also I found on my own East Creek, on East Creek Lake. These, when you get a little tinge of salt in there, tell you, those things will kick your ass. I'm telling you, people, you tie the tail of a 10 pound tidal water carp to the tail of a 10 pound tidal water striper, and that bass is going to drown. I'm sorry to tell you, that's my proclivities, but man, those things kick ass. And like you said, once you get into that tidal water, those them, them carp tails get like broomsticks, and they yeah. move water, and they will whoop your behind if you don't have the proper gear. Now, tell you agree, it can be as esoteric or as simple as you want. Listen, I have, I have good, a good uh, again, I don't have friends. I have enemies and acquaintances. The acquaintances is over in the U.K. Every once in a while, they'll send me uh, these new scents for carp for the dough balls. They're so, they're so intense, like one or two drops per pound of dough. I mean, lobster, Newburgh, boysenberry, what have you. And and it's really really a, a science. And some of these guys, there's a what's that? The Carp Association of America. There's some national organization about the carp. And these guys get into it with their bivvies and like I tell tell those rods these guys had and reels. I mean, oh my god, man, they 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 rivaled uh, the cost of fly tackle and premium bass tackle. Or you can go out there with a spinning outfit, can of corn, dough balls. And have a blast. If the carp are there, they're, they're going to go to it. Wouldn't you agree? 
Yeah, and you know, you can get as intense as you want to it and as high end as you want to it, but like you said, you can also go out there with uh with a decent little spinning setup and and a can of corn and you can catch them just as well. Fortunately for us, we've got a lot of wild carp, so we're not dealing with what they deal with over in the UK yeah. where they've got these pay lakes where these fish have seen every bait known to man. They're, you know, they're high, highly targeted. But here, not a lot of people take advantage of the carp. So, you know, mm-hmm. my, my favorite technique is to go out with a can of corn. And you mentioned earlier, too, you carp are fun because you can chum them to you. They're smart enough to keep coming to a known food source. So if you go out a week before you decide to go fishing, you throw out cans of corn, yeah. you know, where you want to be. Those, those carp will be there at the time that you you tell them. It's like ringing a dinner bell. Uh, Taylor, I related uh, an incident to you and we got a long time, long time acquaintance. He used to be the um, real service manager for Abu Garcia when they were up at Twenty One Law Drive in Fairfield. Jimmy Casal, a carp maniac. I mean, he did the striper fishing, he did the trout fishing, the flood dry fly, everything. He loved his carp, and he made these dough balls. We had these scents. And we're at Verona Park Lake up there on Bloomfield Avenue in Essex County. I'll never forget this. And he says, Tom, these carp are smart. You know, they're pressured. A lot of people fish up there. And you see your line move. Taylor, you see your line move. Oh, stop. There you go. You're going to stop. Stop. What the hell happened? You reel in, and you would find their lip marks around the dough ball. Something about that they didn't want, and they would spit it. Drove you crazy. Drove you crazy. So they could be as smart as any fish out there. Yep. And, and you know, the they, that's what they do. They'll, they'll, they call it mouthing the bait. They'll come up, they'll, they'll put it in their mouth and they'll spit it out before you can set the hook <laughs> yeah. before you even know they're there. Um, so one of the, one of the tricks that a lot of the carp guys do is they use, utilize what's called a hair rig, which basically instead of putting your bait straight on the hook, you, uh, you tie a snell knot and you leave uh, a length of, right. of line off the back of the hook. They call it the hair and you put your bait on that. So when those carp, mouth that bait they don't feel anything hard or foreign they suck it in and then you're able to get a good little hook set right on the side of the lip and uh you know that that can really really increase your catch rate with those with those finickier fish let me tell you something Stuart. last time i tried to tie a hair rig i stuck a hook i stuck the hook point out of my index fingernail so i i, I don't well, go gotta, that way <laughs> tom you got to get your pair yourself a pair of readers or you can order the pre rig the pre-tied rigs mm-hmm. right off Amazon or something. It might make it a little bit easier next time. <laughs> I remember Denise saying, are you all right? Ah! We'll tell you, too. And uh, another thing, too, uh, listeners, this bait, again, with the hair, is intense. I mean, boilies. They're basically, what, like a, a dough with a, a candy coating, I call it. And it's, like you said, I mean, they get they get intense with them. You can order them from online. There's a couple of U.S. Uh, retailers, and, and, you know, but a lot of that stuff you got to order from the U.K., and they have specially formulated boilies with different aminos and proteins yeah. and this and sense and this and that. Um, they even have the ones that uh, that float. So you can, you know, they call them pop-ups. So you yeah, can pop, pop, yeah. hook up a little bit off the bottom. You know, you can, and again, you can get as intense as you want to with it. But, you know, that's not to say that you can't go out there with a little spinning rod and a can of corn and be really successful. Taylor, we're up against a hard break here. We're talking with uh, Taylor Stewart. He is on the Daiwa Pro Staff, also a pro staffer with Spro, Gamagatsu, Yeti, Subaru of America, and Z-Man, among others. And we're talking, just a little break here, just back back to simpler times, but it could be intense times, carp fishing. Again, in South Jersey, who really does it? They're, they're, they're around. There's some Sharpies around. But Taylor, again, on the bass trail, and, and you're, you're doing the competitions a whole bit, Anyone ever questions? I can just say, yeah, I want car fishing. You want car fishing? Why? I mean, do you ever get that? Like, what the hell are you doing that for? You know, a lot of people are are skeptical of it. You know, see them as a trash fish, but you know, when it really comes down to it, it, it depends on what you want. You know, you know, it's not going to help you in a bass tournament. Um, but it, if you want a hard fighting fish that's hardy um, and that's going to, you know, put your gear to the test, it it, it it doesn't get better in freshwater than carp. You can catch them just about anywhere. They fight hard as can be. And, you know, they're really, really hardy. If you, you know, take the proper steps and make sure to handle your carp well, you'll re-catch carp. And they'll have, you know, little little identifying marks or whatever. I've got buddies that I used to fish a lot with on the Schuylkill, Ron Jackson, Mark Jackson, and uh, my buddy Carpadelphia Mike. Carpadelphia! 
Carpadelphia <laughs> Mike, man. And we would have these uh, these fish that we would recapture and we would nickname. And we would have guys in the crew come back and catch them weeks or months later. And, you know, it's just these, these fish will stay around where they know there's a food source. And, and as long as you're, you know, you see these guys handling these fish by their gills and holding them up, you know, uh, vertically, you don't want to do that. You want to be careful. You want to, you know, hold them up, you know, keep their, keep their bellies up like any other sort of fish. Right. And as long as you handle them well and get them back, you, you know, you can catch them over and over again. They'll, they'll keep coming back. They do get smarter. They get a little bit trickier to catch. They might not eat the same bait, but, um, you know, these, these fish will, you know, you can bring them to you and you can catch them over and over again. And there isn't a fight like it. Taylor, thanks for sharing that with us. Listeners, try it. Try it. Tom Payton, try car. Try, open your minds. What's that saying? Uh, what's that? A, a parachute only works when it's open. Like your mind. It's like a parachute. And, and these fish, they fight. They can kick your ass. I got turned on. I had an article in a fisherman several years ago. Uh, to, I got turned on by these uh, white amours. You know, the Russian carp. Uh, yep. Man, they're they're as close to a freshwater bonefish, or they remind me of the barbel, and they but they get to huge sizes. And shout out to Captain Dom on uh, full draw bow fishing out there on the Delaware. So these things get to be 50, 60 pounds. Now you talk about a fight, but that's a that's another topic entirely. Taylor, thanks for joining us. Good luck on the tournament, sir. I'll hope to run into you at a shop one of these days somewhere up and down the coast, or better yet, on a pond, man. Let's do some carbon. Hey, let's get together with Carpadelphia. Can we do it? Uh, hey. They, they'll they'll be down. We'll 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 hit we'll hit up the whole the whole uh, the whole squad and we'll get we'll get you out there. Let's do it, man. Hey, man. I, 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 if I do if I get a podcast going, I may do a podcast doing that. Carping down. Okay, well, you take care of that. See you. See you soon. Thanks again, Tom. Yep. Appreciate it. All right. Again, bass tournament angler, pro staff, Daiwa, Subaru, yet and all but. And he says, he agrees with me, a thinking's man fish, they can drive you crazy. Okay, up against a break. Be right back. Rack and Fin Radio. Carp, man. Give it a try. WPG Talk Radio 95.5 FM and 1450 AM. South Jersey's talk station. Lowe's knows how to save pros time and money. Right now, save 10% on select concrete mix when you buy one pallet or more. Plus, earn three times the bonus points per dollar on select Spider Power Tool accessories. Because Lowe's knows savings. Lowe's knows pros. Discount reflected in contractor pack pricing and must purchase one pallet or more of same item to be eligible. Bonus points calculated before taxes and fees after applicable discounts, if any. Valid through 9 1. At Granger, we're for the ones who pay attention to every little detail, the ones who fuss, tinker, and sweat the small stuff. Because you know the tiniest thing can make the biggest difference when it comes to keeping business moving. We get it. We're the same way. Offering access to product experts to help you quickly and easily find what you need. So whatever your industry, you know you're always getting professional-grade products. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. The roar of our engines, the pump of our heartbeats, the pedal to our metal, the sparks that ignite us, the pistons that push us, the passions that drive us. From the feelings that move us to the places that pull us on the roads that unite us. With nearly 6,000 stores and over 17,000 auto care centers, Napa has America's largest network of hearts and care, here to keep you firing on all cylinders. Hey y'all, my name is Tiara, and a little thing that I love about the Chick-fil-A Spicy Chicken Biscuit is that it has the perfect amount of spice to jumpstart my day. Whoever thought of it, thank you so much. Hi, my name is Robert, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A Spicy Chicken Biscuit is the biscuit. It reminds me of my grandma's homemade biscuit. It's always buttery and savory. Then you add the spices, instant classic. Order the Spicy Chicken Biscuit on the Chick-fil-A app today. Real Chick-fil-A guests paid for their testimonials. Rack and Fin Radio with Tom P. WPG Talk Radio 95.5. Hey, back inside Rack and Fin Radio with me, Tom P. Weekend of August 19th and 20th. Hey, you're tuned in 5 to 6 a.m. on Talk Radio WPG 95.5. 
FM. By the way, South Jersey's number one top-rated talk radio station. And also WPG 1450 AM. Streaming live on that slot, WPG1450.com. From 7 to 8 a.m., you're locked into 50,000 mega far-reaching watts of the Rack and Fin Radio Message. 97.3 ESPN FM. Streaming live, 97.3 ESPN.com. Download the WPG Talk Radio app to get to the Rack and Fin Radio podcast. Now, they're usually embedded under my blogs on 97.3 ESPN. If I submitted a blog, it was so cool, so cool. Quick shout-out. Up in that area, stopped in. I was picking up some bait or whatever. So this restaurant had been open, uh, Waterside, up there near Waretown. Go in, hey, one of the few restaurants on the Jersey Shore, and I think I visited them pretty much all and wrote about a bunch of them for Boaters Digest. They have a hook and cook dealio. Shout out to Captain Pete's Caribbean Grill up there in Waretown. Anyway, uh, that's what the that's what the blog is. If it gets posted, I hope so. It was pretty good, man. But some fluke the fl- the fillets were still quivering. That's how fresh it was. And they did a great job. Speaking of fluke, aka summer flounder, looks like uh, we're wrapping up the season with a blockbuster summer flounder tournament out of Cape May. It's the inaugural Doormat Derby 2023. $6,000 in cash and prizes. That's besides, uh, well, <laughs> there's going to be additional Calcuttas, categories for women and youngsters. It is going to be a blockbuster event out, out of Off the Hook Marina down there in Cape May. Jonas on the line is one of the promoters of the event, one of the main sponsors. It was Jerry Vessels. You know the name from the Wildwood Fishing and Boating Expo, that's super successful. And first one on the calendar, outdoor show. It's going to be uh, sometime in January. We'll get on that with Jerry in a minute. But let's talk about this tournament. Wrapping up the last month of the summer flounder season. I believe it ends the 22nd, 21st or 22nd. Been tournaments all over the place. There's one going on today. Uh, the Ozark Sportsman was on last week about that. But uh, this is going to be a super event, big money. And Cape May, well, hopefully we'll have a guest a little later on talking about the tremendous fluke fishing going on off the Cape May coast. But right now, Jerry Vessel's on. Let's talk about this tournament entry fees, prizes, and I had to tell him, no military time in the press releases, is except for watching Gomer Pyle every once in a while when I can't sleep. I don't know military time. Jerry Vessels, how you doing, little brother? Oh, I'm doing fantastic. Good morning, Tommy P. Uh, good morning, by the way. This is a very successful uh, trip down to Orlando, dropping off his beautiful one of three daughters, McKenna. She's he dropping off. She is a, now a freshman in college. Jerry, I know that had to break you and the missus' heart. I mean, very proud, very happy. But, boy, that has to be a little heart-wrenching, leaving her behind down there, huh? It was uh it was tough. I mean, you prepare for this for 18 years, been preparing for it, and it wasn't easy. Yeah, man. And she and what's her what's her future <clears throat> ambition, professional ambition? What did she tell you? She is she wants to be a pediatric surgeon. She's a freshman at Nova Southeastern, which is right outside Fort Lauderdale. Uh, it's beautiful campus, beautiful school. Everything is wonderful, which made it a little bit easier as far as saying see it to her, but. At the same time, it uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> well, I say best of I, wishes, still, best of luck. She's gonna she's gonna, oh, she's yeah. gonna knock it out of the park, vessels. You know that. Look at her antecedents. Okay, Joe, let's get to the doormat derby. The genesis of this. I mean, this is gonna be a a, a big event. And the Cape right now, according to Captain Bobby Cope, if we can get him on from Full Head Sport Fishing a little later, it is on fire down in the Cape, Jared. Now, this, uh, when's the event? And let, let's get to it. Entry fees, what have you. Go. All right. Doormat Derby Flounder Tournament, August 26, 2023 at Off the Hook Marina on Ocean Drive. Uh, entry is 400 bucks for per boat, and that is for up to four anglers. You can have six people on the boat four lines in the water at one time that kind of you know it lets the little guy feel like you're you're still in there at at the 25 and under crowd where four lines is probably the maximum you're going to fish on a boat that size fair enough fair enough you know so there's a few more 25 and under flounder fishing guys than there are in the 25 and up category that's all so we we keep everything fair four lines in the water six anglers on board maximum uh, and like I said, for your four hundred dollar entry fee, you're getting six thousand in guaranteed prizes. We got some <laughs> tremendous yeah. giveaways. Yeah. House of Rods is giving us three hundred fifty dollar gift certificate. We're going to hand to somebody. Whoa! You know that's an example. Of some of the prizes. Oh, oh, oh. 
We've got cash prizes for single heaviest fish, a uh, three fish stringer, and a brand new category that we wanted to capitalize on is the slot fish. Everybody in the tournament fishing hates the slot fish. Oh, they suck. They take up your whole stringer. <laughs> well, guess what? Now we got a slot fish category, you know, three fish category with guaranteed prize money for it. Plus there's a separate Calcutta for it. Well, Jerry, one thing I have to mention a little farther up the coast, uh, I told a couple of uh, party boat and charter boat captains that it, it's been a tough, this bite, Jerry, it's been furious. And everyone's keyed in on, on the, uh, still the bluefin bite and the yellowfin bite on the squid, whatever, the Kalamod crush, I call it. But, Jerry, they're having problems filling the slots because a lot of these fish are 18 and up. Oh, the, the or or they're seven or they're or they're sixteen and under. So <laughs> that that's I've been that's been the big some, challenge. I, I've seen some really really beautiful sixteen and a half inch fish this year that you know you're looking at them and you're thinking, boy, oh boy, boy that's a good this little butterball, yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, but you're you're 100 percent correct. The fishing has been fantastic down here in Cape May County this year, and all the local reefs. It's not just one that's been producing right. per, pretty much. It's been everywhere. It's been really, really good. Even uh, even in the back, I just saw a picture. Guy posted an eight pounder that he just caught in the back See, yesterday. In the back, so. listen, they are still in the back, and a lot of fish have moved that front. We had a segment earlier, you know, the transition. But they're, they're, Jerry, I remember uh, keeper fluke in a four to five pound class being caught in the back in as, as late as the first second week of September last year. So they're there. The bait's there. They're there. But Jerry, I understand you have a kayak division. Go into that, please. Yes, we have the kayak division because again, like down here with fish in the back bays and everything like that you you just want to keep the tournament open to everybody so you don't exclude anybody or anything like that and it's a a category that so many people got into kayak fishing with the bridge fishing getting up in them little cricks and the flats and finding out that there's big fish sitting in them little spots so sure. figure the more the merrier we're all in this because you know we all have a passion for fishing what everything I've ever done as far as fishing and boating goes with it started out with my passion and drive to say I want to want to put something out here that is a quality product that everybody can enjoy so mm -hmm. we got the kayak division going for you know again locals I got plenty of friends that have kayaks I Sometimes I want to run them over, but I think for the most part. <laughs> Vintage Vessel there, people. Okay, <laughs> yeah, Joe's on the line is Jerry Vessel. He's one of the promoters of the inaugural Doormat Derby. It's going to be next Saturday, the 26th. Captain's meeting is this coming Friday, the 25th at Off the Hook Marina. It's going to be at 7 p.m. Well, Jerry, also, I understand now, You, you I, I saw in the notes here, women's category and a youth category. Go into those. You, you guys are covering all bases here. Pardon the pun. Yes, again, and, and that's something that you got to have it, Tom. I've got three daughters. I'm not going to exclude anybody or, or say, like, hey, we don't want that, or you shouldn't have, uh, how should it be, our future of, of the sporting industry for every everything across the board is youth and getting the family involved and getting whoever wants to do it, step up and do it. It's not just a the old boys club any longer. We need people that are interested in the sports, interested in and get them interested. Good. Throw them a Good. cash prize. Make a special category for them to say, hey, we want to include you because this is important to us. It's important for our industry. It's important for take it five steps further. Look at these windmills that are coming down the coast. Don't get me going, vessels. No, I I know. I I can't stand it. I'm I'm a million percent against them. But the the bigger wave of people that we can throw at these things and the more people we can get involved in it. And mm -hmm. when you have next generation coming up that says, this is part of something, right. You know, basically you, you get them involved in something for life. It builds a future for what we love right now to pass on to future generations. And that you said it right there in a nutshell. So George Online is Jerry Vessel's promoter of the uh, one of the promoters rather and sponsor of the Doormat Derby 2023 next Saturday out of Off the Hook Marina, Cape May. Okay, all vessels, uh, ha not vessels as in you vessels, as in <laughs> all boats, kayaks, whatever, whatever, have to be registered by 6 a.m. The shotgun start is at 6:30 a.m. From where, Jerry? From the, it would be the north side of the Cape May Toll Bridge, which is Lund's Fisheries for local people down here. We know exactly what that is. Mm -hmm. All fishing is in 
uh, as far north as Cape May County waters, as far south as Ocean City, Maryland waters. Woo! Uh, That's a span, bro. Yeah, we got a, a pretty big area there. And, Good. And again, the, the shotgun start, we're going to register you. You can either register in the store, like sign in, check in at the store. The marina, you have to leave the premises at 630. Out on the water, check-in is going to be between 6 and 6.30 on the water. Get checked in, 6.30, we blow the horn. Everybody takes off in a safe manner. Right there, the, the inlet's only a quarter mile away. Yep. So, yep. I mean, we're we're in good shape as far as that goes for the shape we're in. Okay, Jerry, the way in. In, in civilian time, please. Way in <laughs> in civilian time is... 1500 hours to it's 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. And with that, again, you, you're either going to drive there. If you're driving, take time. Bridges go up, traffic jams, red lights, flat tires. If you're bringing your boat in, there's going to be plenty of room to bring a boat in. Good. Drop somebody off with the fish, get back out of line, wait for your guy to come back or go back to the slip, drop the boat off, clean up a little bit. Come back for the after party. We will have a boat at the end of the creek, which is at Lunds, checking you in at 5 p.m. If you're not in the creek, you're not eligible to be weighed in. So again, Fair enough. You've given them enough warning. You're giving them, that's a two-hour time slot. Well, Joe, yeah, you, so you mentioned the... Uh, uh, you know, this is, these are my proclivities. You mentioned the, the, uh, after tournament party and the, uh, and the food. We gotta go into that, man. All right, we've got Spanky's barbecue coming, and it's basically all you can eat with pulled pork, hot dogs, hamburgers, some side orders, you know, different things. We're going to be having some complimentary beer on scene, on on premises. High Noon is going to be there with some complimentary drinks. We have the Bigfoot Band of South Jersey going to be rocking the stage. Uh, trophies, yes. giveaways. Cash awards, Calcutta's, we have Calcutta's single heaviest fluke, $25 Calcutta. Single heaviest fluke, $100 Calcutta. Three heaviest, $25. Three heaviest, $100. Three heaviest slot fish, which I think is going to be a big one. Uh, yeah, that's good. bucks. <laughs> there you go. The hey, mermaid listen. category for our ladies, $50. Uh -huh. And the kids is $50 Calcutta's as well. So... It's all, listen, it's all covered. It's going to be great to me. It's a season-closing uh, fluke tournament because I know it's going to go till the 22nd. But, hey, man, September goose and my mud hen season opens September 1st already. Me and a lovely demon are getting into the hunting mode. And so, um, I tell you, maybe we'll see you down or not to fish, of course, but to uh, taste the victuals. How's that? That would be wonderful, Tom. You you know you have an open door. Well, Dee Marie has an open door. You <laughs> give me plenty of time to adjust. That's all. I, I need I need time to prepare for that. Jerry, you have to see some of my new uh, Manatee on Methamphetamines dance moves, man. I'm going to be doing it. I'm going I'm to be doing it. Okay, uh, Jerry, for for more information, and so I'm ever, go, go, go. What do we have? Uh, more information, Facebook, Doormat Derby. I have an event and a Facebook page, or simply call me direct, 609-377-1617. Listeners, the inaugural Doormat Derby next Saturday, the 26th. Captain's meeting Friday, the 25th, 7 p.m. at Off the Hook Marina. Jerry, real quick, one, uh, we have about uh, less than a minute in this segment. Real quick update on the Wildwood Fishing and Boating Expo 2024, little brother. Go! We are full steam ahead, Tommy. We're probably 75% full already. Oh, uh, everything is shaping up to be a wonderful show. It's going to be the first weekend in January, which is the 5th and 6th. And it's going to be Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, 9 to 5, Saturday or Sunday, 9 to 2. And everything is going to be full steam ahead, man. First one out of the door. We're going to kick 2024 20, right in the behind in the first weekend. And this so, is at the Wildwood Convention Center, correct? Correct. Wildwood Convention Center, 4501 Boardwalk, Wildwood, New Jersey. Free parking? Free parking. And that is critical. Hey, Jerry, best of the family and congratulations on McKenna's uh, going to college. Oh, boy. Thank you, Tommy. Well, it's, ah, yeah. we're excited. Talk to you later, so, man. Plus, we get to go to Florida, the visitor. <laughs> hey, if you ever need a luggage caddy, call me. I'm certified. I hear you. Okay, Jerry, we'll uh, see you, man. Thanks again, Tommy. Yep. Have a great day. See you next see week. You.
Yeah, it's going to be a hell of an event. Up against a break. Be right back. Rack and Finn Radio, the inaugural Doormat Derby 2023. Closing out the summer flounder season. Yeah, there's still a few weeks to go, but it's hunting time, man. It's, it's, it's hunting time, almost. Be right back. Rack and Finn Radio. People all over the Jersey Shore have found the easiest way to stay connected to South Jersey's talk station. It's the WPG Talk Radio app. Read free South Jersey news. Listen to your favorite talk shows. Send us pics and videos when you see breaking news. Wake up with the alarm clock feature and more. It's all just a tap away with the WPG Talk Radio app. Download it now at WPGTalkRadio.com. Fox News, Hurricane Hillary is off Mexico's Pacific Coast and could reach Southern California as the first tropical storm there in 84 years. San Diego Mayor's Todd Gloria urging residents... Prepare to shelter in place during the storm. Make sure that your phone and other devices are fully charged in case the power goes out. And make sure that the batteries on your flashlight are working. Parts of Southern California may get up to 10 inches of rain. Former President Trump telling Fox Business Network's Kudlow... He's concerned about the current state of the economy. We have this country that is this big power, but it's not, it lose, it's losing everything. We're losing our dignity, but we're, we're losing that big market. Uh, it has more power when you have it rolling like we had it rolling. Former president went on to call President Biden's economy a disgrace. America is listening to Fox News. Your WPG Talk Radio 95.5 AccuWeather forecast for South Jersey. Clear skies overnight will reach an overnight low of 58. Mostly sunny Saturday with low humidity. A beautiful start to the weekend. Saturday's high 82. Saturday night mainly clear with a low of 57. Sunday will be sunny and hot. We'll reach a high Sunday of 90. Monday, hot and humid with sunshine mixing with a few clouds. Expect a high of 95. I'm AccuWeather's Drew Shannon on WPG Talk Radio 95.5. Rack and Fin Radio with Tom P. WPG Talk Radio 95.5. Here, back inside Rack and Fin Radio with me, Tom P. Weekend of August 19th and 20th. And there you go. Okay, that's going to be a super event, fun event next week. It's that, that flounder, called the Flounder Rodeo. It's going to be a good time. Another very special event next Saturday. Different type of venue, a freshwater venue. It's benefiting veterans, active uh, military uh, members right now, and also children with special needs. Sponsored by the Jersey Coast Anglers Association, uh, the vice president and Ways and Means Committee chairman, a longtime friend of Tom P. and Rack and Fin Radio, Don Morantz, is on to talk about this very special event. It's going to be held at a private lake, Lake Juliana. Shout out to Vito Cardinale, the very, 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 very generous, magnanimous owner of the property who's allowing people to come up there and fish and experience top quality, super unreal freshwater fishing, all for a great cause. Mr. Morantz, thanks for joining us. Long time no see, man. Yeah, I've been, been a long time for sure. Yeah, Don, you've been, uh, I understand you've been, when, when you get a can, when you get a chance in your psycho schedule, you're actually getting some fishing in. Good for you. But, uh, now this event has been, uh, this is the seventh annual. It's, listen, it's called the, the Play Hooky event. Now, uh, Vito's on years ago on Rack and Fan. I think it was the first or second, uh, year of the event. So, Don, let, let's, uh, let's revisit this. Tell us what it's all about. It's been going on. Uh, this is the seventh year. Uh, the benefits to fishing. What do you have? Go. Well, we have a lot. We have a lot of veterans and kids. Uh, last year, we had 476 people. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How families. many? How many? Four, 476. We expect 500 this year. And what? we have a lot of volunteers. Oh. Oh. The, the vets have the kids, and uh, it's, a, it's a great outing. Everything is free. When I say everything is free, we have breakfast. We have a, uh, a barbecue that you can't beat. Vito Cardinale and and uh, and uh, Randy Johnson, who's uh, the owner of Lorita Winery, yeah, yeah, are the host. And they and they provide everything: hot dogs, hamburgers. We've had uh, venison. We've had wild boar. So you name it: uh, sausage, uh, chicken, and every like I said, everything is free. Every vet 
when it has to be uh, registered, every uh, child has to be registered. Now, again, so Eventbrite, you just go to Eventbrite, and the registration is ma- mandatory. Eventbrite. We have sodas, pizza, hot dogs, like I said, also, I have an ice cream truck, a pizza truck. Everybody walks in, they have choice of a table. I probably have 75 rods and reels that we give away. Wow. And Don, again, you're talking about expecting 500 people. We're speaking with Don Morantz, Vice President of Jersey Coast Angler Association. Super event again next Saturday. It's going to be at Lake Juliana, uh, hosted by Vito Cardinale. It's a seventh annual play hooky um, fishing event for veterans, active military uh, duty members, and children with special needs. Morantz, getting a handle on us would say 500 people of volunteers. That's that's intensity to the to the tenth degree and beyond. Coordinating this, Morantz, what was involved with that? Well, Greg Kucharski does most of the uh, the uh, vet, uh, you know, the things with the vets, and I do with the children. It takes me uh, all year long to collect uh, prizes for the uh, for the event. I have sponsors, and uh, Jersey Coast is a big sponsor. And like right. I said, I have a couple other sponsors that uh, you know that help me and. Uh, it's a, an event. You have to be there. It's a really, uh, you know, something. The state police will be there with their their uh, a special. Uh, uh, it's called. Uh, other, oh, I can't think of it. Uh, the special uh, uh, event unit. Uh huh. And they'll fly, they're going to have a flyby. And, oh wow! Uh, this is great. This is great. And uh, it's a it's a, a catch and release. We do all barbless hooks. And, Good. Uh, well, Don, tell I, I mean, just to give people an inkling of the of the fish in the sconce within Lake Juliana, man, go to it. There are, listen, there are some whoppers, and then there are some Lake Juliana whoppers. Go into that, Don. <laughs> Donald catfish, big bass. Uh, it's uh, there's perch, there's sunfish. And, and crappies. Dude, like people, said. there's crappies and sunnies in here the size of your head. And what? There's a, <laughs> it's, it's, it's really something to see at uh, the event. Well, Don, again, coordinating that with the volunteers, is it one volunteer per one person, per three people, four people? That, that's a lot of humanity in one location around the lake, don't you think? Uh, no, not really. Okay. Like I said, you know, it's, we used to have it separate. The vets one day, the kids one day. We had a rain date, and uh, we had to do it. Uh, we had to combine the vets and the kids. It worked out so well. The kids loved the vets being there, and the vets loved the, helping the kids. So it was a win-win situation for everybody. That is super. Again, now, Don, we're up against a hard break. How do people get involved with this again? Find out. They want to register. What's the dealio? To register on Eventbrite. Eventbrite. Okay, this is the seventh annual uh, called Play Hooky uh, Fishing Event. It's going to be at Lake Juliana, uh, Ponderosa State Farm. Veterans, active military members, and children with special needs. Everything is provided. Everything is no cost. Incredible, incredible from my end. Incredible dining experience, but even more incredible fishing experience there. Don, I've seen bass coming out of here five, six, seven pounds. Like, don't, don't even raise an eyebrow. But some of those channel cats in there can eat a poodle. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> they are monsters. Well, both, both my grandkids, three and a half and four and a half, each have a six and a half pound largemouth bass. Isn't that something? Is that, well, Don, do me a favor. Give the, uh, for more information, uh, does, is there more stuff about this on the JCA website? Yes. Okay, go to jcaa.org. Is that correct? Correct. Okay, the information will be there. Listen, uh, if you get a chance, go to Eventbrite. Reggie, if you know someone who qualifies, address, and go. The address is 2 Beachwood Lane, two, Millstone Township. 2 Beachwood Lane in Milton, Millstone Township, Monmouth Millstone County. Township. Got it. Okay, Mr. Morantz, I will see you hopefully on the water one of these. Hey, hey Morantz, besides Lake Juliana, do you ever do any fresh water, or are you strictly a salty kind of guy? No, I do both. Aha, uh-huh. aha. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, well, hey, man. I belong to, I belong to the Newark Bait and Fly Casting Club, the oldest freshwater 
fishing club in the United States. Hey, listen, they do they still meet. I used to go to all the meetings. Do they still meet in Scotch Plains or or uh, Westfield? Uh, Where do they meet? They uh, meet in Kenilworth at the VFW. Ah, Kenilworth. In fact, I will be there. In fact, soon. Oof, I will be there. Uh, Pretty soon, exit uh, 130. Still have relatives up there in that Kenilworth area. In fact, down the street on the boulevard there is where I used to, used to trout fish there at the Railway River. <laughs> <laughs> exit 138. Tom. Yeah, exit 138. Yeah, that's where uh, I still have relatives up there right off the boulevard. Okay, Don, you take care, man. Listen, the 7th Annual Play Hooky Veterans, Active Military Duty Members, and Children with Special Needs. It's going to be next Saturday. Go to Eventbrite. Try to register. It's going to be a super great, fun experience. For a great cause, Don. Congratulations on the work that you and the JCA and everyone involved does. Really appreciate it. And also, uh, there is a rain date. Oh, go with the rain Sunday. date. It's going to be what? The next it's day, Sunday? Sunday? Next, next day, absolutely. Okay, Don. We take care, man. God spares. We'll see you soon. All right, thanks, Tom. Yeah. yeah so Don at uh, I don't know boat show or something. He's Tom. I said Lake Juliana. They're still doing that. Expecting 500 people, I'll tell you, though, it's a seamless operation. I was there a few years ago. They had 100, 300, 400. It's a seamless operation, but it's for a great cause. The youngsters and the veterans in particular, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, just a wonderful event. Try to get involved with that. Go to Eventbrite. Up against a break. Be right back. Rack and Fin Radio. WPG Talk Radio 95.5 FM and 1450 AM. South Jersey's talk station. Have you seen the cost of eggs lately? With these prices, we'd barely be scraping by if it weren't for Dave. It's the banking app that advances us up to $500 instantly. There's no interest, late fees, or credit checks. No joke. You can get extra cash for anything your family needs. Download the Dave app now or go to Dave.com. For terms and conditions, go to Dave.com slash legal. Instant transfer fees apply. Banking services provided by Evolve. Member FDIC. Jim Gaffigan here with some more straight talk. Let's take a moment to appreciate our sweet children, loving grandparents, and eternal soulmates. Now let's use them to save money on wireless. Because with the Straight Talk Silver Plan, you get four lines for just $25 a month with unlimited data and no contracts. So add those human pawns, I mean loved ones, and save money. Thanks, kids. They're finally worth it. Straight Talk Wireless, available at Walmart. Get four lines on Silver Unlimited for $25 per line per month, plus taxes and fees. For data management practices and additional terms, visit Straight Talk. So you're in the middle of a kitchen update, and you can't tell if that's a faucet stem or a flange. With the Home Depot app, doing doesn't miss a beat. It'll find what you need in a snap, and it'll show you how to find it in store with a tap. Or get it delivered free. For doing that doesn't stop, download the Home Depot app. It's made for doing. Venture X from Capital One is the travel card for people always asking, Where next? You earn 10x miles on hotels and rental cars and 5x miles on flights booked through Capital One Travel and 2x miles on everything else you buy with Venture X. Plus, receive premium travel benefits like access to over 1,300 airport lounges. The Venture X card from Capital One. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. See CapitalOne.com for details. Rack and Fin Radio with Tom P. WPG Talk Radio 95.5. Here we go. Look out below. Wrapping up our final segment. Rack and Fin Radio with me, Tom P. Weekend of August 19th and 20th. Hey, you've been tuned in 5 to 6 a.m. on Talk Radio WPG 95.5 FM and WPG 1450 AM. Streaming live WPG 1450.com. And from 7 to 8 a.m., you're locked in at 50,000 mega far reaching watts of the Rack and Fin Radio message 97.3 ESPN FM. Streaming live 97.3 ESPN.com. Download the WPG Talk Radio app to get to the Rack and Fin Radio podcast. Go to Spotify, Liquify, Edify, whatever, Apple, Apple Fi, whatever. The Rack and Fin Radio program is out there. As promised earlier in the program, got him on the line. It's been a long time. It's Captain Bob Cope, full ahead sport fishing there, based out of the famous Utches Marina, 1121 Route 109. Challenges landing in Cape May. We had Ernie Utch owner on several weeks ago. Cope is right there with Tommy Daffin, Captain Steve Bent, and Cope is just, as he said, Tom P., 
flounder fishing is on fire. I want to get Cope on to talk about the incredible and also sea bass fishing opportunities that are going on off Cape May out of Hutchins. Captain Cope, how you doing, man? Hey there, Tommy. How about yourself? Uh, lock, cocked, and ready rock, getting older, fatter, and waiting to die. But besides that, Cope... <laughs> I want to get down on, I'm seeing some of your photos on Facebook, talking to some people that have been charting with you. Cope, it is area rug and doormat crazy down your way. Well, I wouldn't call them doormats, but there's a lot of three to five, five and a half, six pound fish around. Bob, Pretty have, fish have you, over the years, have in recent memory, Cope, have you seen consistent <laughs> numbers like this, this time of the year? I've seen in numbers, but never the size. I mean, this is, this is one of the best years I've seen that I can remember, and I've done this all my life. So, now, Cope, I, mean, I don't know where they came from, but yeah. they're here. Again, I don't know where they came from, but they're here. Um, and there's always questions. Is it the management, all the regulations the past few years? Who knows? Is it climate change, water temperature? Who knows? But the fact is Cape May right now is the hotbed for um, <clears throat> some big summer flounder. Cope, gnarly, nasty-ass structure, correct? That, that's your, that seems to be your calling card. No, 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 too much. Believe really? Not, I, I fish a lot of a lot of coral bottom, rocky bottom, but I don't have a lot of people that can really handle the really rugged stuff, so I stay away from that. If I had all those guys, I'd stay in shore and burn half the fuel every day. But, <laughs> you know, <laughs> the reef's got a lot of fish on them, but it, it comes at a major price with losing bucktails and tackle. So I've learned over the years to find places to catch them. Without having to, so the average guy can go fishing and catch some fish. So, Bob, you're talking depth wise. Uh, give us a range 60, 90 feet, 100 feet. What's the dealio? 100 plus. Woo. Now, is it, Bob, is it, uh, again, the proclivities of the angler, is it as per your direction? And this isn't a derogatory term, listen, because I am the number one bait guy. Bait draggers, Bob, is it the jigging deal with the with the big spros or the round headed jigs with the gulp or strip baits? What, what's getting it's, these fish in? Uh, use a lot of chicken rigs, believe it or not. A lot of guys are using chicken rigs now. The high-low rig with the teasers on them. Uh huh. That's that's the most popular thing on a boat right now. Yeah, there's, I got a couple guys that are really good with the bucktail, but for the most part, a lot of guys use the chicken rig, and I kind of got that developed for these guys because it's a whole lot cheaper to lose an 8-ounce sinker than an 8-ounce bucktail. <laughs> <laughs> That's vintage scope, by the way. Bob, a lot of angling, pr the areas you're going, a lot of angling pressure. I mean, you, I head up north. I was, uh, where was I out of, uh, up a couple of weeks ago, I went out of uh, Manasquan and I went down and said, man, I, I, you think it was the tuna fleet that's on the squid? I mean, there were flounder guys, flew up there, it's called, flew, flew everywhere. I mean, are you finding that kind of a uh, flotilla situation down your way? My guys will tell you, we fish in a fleet. The full head's the only boat in the fleet. We fish alone a lot. Very rarely do we fish with more than two or three boats. In most days, it's we're on our own somewhere. Bob, with, there's about, what, three weeks, a little over three weeks left. I think it closes uh, September 22nd. A lot of summer flounder movement. Are you seeing fish? Are you, you guys are getting your limits and then fish are right back there the next day or two days later. What do you notice about the flounder migration, if there is such a thing? <laughs> Seems to be a lot more small fish filling in now. Come, I guess they're coming from the bays, but you know, getting your limits tough with that one inch. You got to catch that two of them fish in that one inch range. No problem catching the overs. We get them every day plus. You know, mm -hmm. we got a lot. A lot of my guys now that they won't keep it an over to less than twenty inches because they know that, they know we're going to get the fix that we need. So. Hey, Joe's on the Rack and Fin line this morning is Captain Bob Cope, full ahead sport fishing out of Utch's Marina, 1121 Route 109 in Cape May. So, Bob, now I, I can't I can't ignore this. These uh these knucklehead sea bass that are still around. Again, the limit's only one that's gonna close, and I guess it reopens in November or close in October, where yeah, October maybe reopens, whatever. Bob, where are these things coming from? Are have they never left? What's the deal? No, they always they come back now. The bigger the, the big sea bass will be around now, and you'll catch them. Yeah, you know you'll have one a guy, so it's not like it's a big deal. But right. you catch them every day. You know, catch. I don't know. We may catch a dozen, fifteen of them every day, and then you say to yourself, "Boy, it's going to be a good sea bass season." And then fall comes, and October first comes, we start fishing. They'll be gone. <laughs> they'll be somewhere else. <laughs> 
We're we'll speaking with Captain Bob Cope, full ahead spore fishing. Well, Cope, now I just I want to bounce back to the spring a little bit because you you are you and the guys down there that listen. These are these are the this this is the these are the these are the pistons in the charter engine. It seems down there in Cape May. Bob, the Ernie told me that and his brother Charles said the drum season was so so up in the bay. What did, what did you find this past spring? I totally agree with that. It was not like it's been in the past. We heard a lot of fish, saw a lot of fish. They were there. For whatever reason, they weren't eating. I mean, there was a lot of life in the bay, but, you know, it was a grind. You catch one a guy a night. Some nights, you know, most nights you had three, four fish on the boat. Maybe it was tough. It was mm-hmm. not, not what it's been in the past. Okay, Bob, that's, that's bounce up towards the future here. Uh, through October, November, uh, you charter and you have uh, sea bass on the menu, stripers. What's the dealio? Or are you, uh, are you totally booked? You totally booked already? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, there's there's no dates. If you want to book, you got to book for next year. Um, we start sea bass on October 1st, and then we go every day for sea bass until November 16th, and then we talk fish for the rest of the year. Oh, let's just, it's called, it, the full ahead should be called Tagasaurus Central. Man, between you and Daffin Cope, that's pretty sick. <laughs> you get you get some beer kegs on that boat, man. And I mean as a big rotund tog. Yeah, Tommy and I work very well together. You know, we and we fish together in January, fish on the same boat. Pretty scary. The two minds working together and the whole ocean to ourselves. <laughs> Listen, if you're interested, uh, go to fullheadsportfishing.com. Like I said, Captain Kobe, you're booking here. Uh, you're going to have to book trips for next year. Uh, but hey, uh, Kobe, listen, you ever you ever post any cancellations or the nature of whores a vacuum, the charter business, rather, of whores a vacuum? You have a cancellation, the slots automatically fill. What's, what's up with that? Oh, uh, it's. I just. I got a list of guys and. If I once in a while I put something on Facebook, but for the most part, I just call a guy up and say, hey, next Tuesday's open, so I'll take it. You know, he gets the six guys and comes. And there you go. Cam Co, thanks for joining us. Filling us in. The fluke bite in Cape May County, off Cape May, is on fire. Bob, mm-hmm. best to everyone. Hope to see you on the water one day. I'm going to be on Utches in a couple of weeks. Are you going to be around? Let me buy you a beer and a sandwich, man. Late in the afternoon, I'll be around. After the wind ain't blowing, we'll be going. Okay, man. Talk to you later, Bobby. <laughs> We'll see you. Long time acquaintance, Bob Coppola. He was a kick ass rep with Stren and Suffolk and Quantum over the years, man. Leading the charge down there in, in Cape May, boy. That is, uh, that is something. Okay, be right back. Rack and Finn. Oh, we can't. No, man, we're wrapping it up. Rack and Finn Radio. See you next week. God bless America. God bless our troops. God bless our first responders and law enforcement. See you next week.